What's up? What's up? Are you guys murking? Are you guys murking? I got some uh, new news for you guys momentarily. So uh, be patient. I'm trying to accomplish a few uh, ordeals. I've got some uh, factors that I want to lay out and explain. Different factors. Uh, Gotta get up. Take one out, put one back in. That's how I roll. It's in the refrigerator. Moving forward. That's uh, yeah, gonna work. I got a got a few things uh, I wanted to wanted to go ahead and. Put it out there on the front line, you know, lay it in front of you guys here. So, uh, wanted to, uh, give you an outlook, or outlook, as far as the forthcoming, or near future, things that I'm trying to, uh, undertake, and, uh, Trying to handle a few things, you know. Yeah. It's come to my attention that a lot of you guys are my fans, a lot of you guys deep down support me. Uh, all in all, I do a damn good job at what I do to entertain. Uh, a lot of my stuff is viewed. I get a lot more views than a lot of people do. Uh, I'm more popular than a lot of people are. Um, and I'm not really a member of the 40 ounce club. I never officially was a member. Just as much as I never was officially diagnosed with a disability either. Uh, so I can give a hoot about the 40 ounce crew. I never met any of them. I don't care about them so they could take a hike. I don't care. Nor do they care about me, vice versa. It goes both ways. <sighs> sort of like Exhibit A, but I really don't care, like I said, because a lot of stuff I like to talk about, I don't I don't care either. You notice a lot of things that I talk about, I really don't care. I talk about a lot of things I don't care about. That's just who I am. That's my personality. Also, if you guys, uh, for one picking minute, thought that you ruined my reputation, you didn't ruin my reputation. That's what see. That's what the trolls want to do. They want to break you. They want to ruin your reputation. They want to destroy your character and your reputation. They want to steal your soul. You guys didn't do that. You guys didn't accomplish anything. The trolls just are wasting their own energy you know the haters and the trolls are basically wasting their energy that's about it you know they're the ones with the problem not me so I'm not gonna care less one way or another so you guys failed at ruining my reputation secondly I don't gotta prove jack shit I don't have to prove diddly anything I don't have to prove anything so I, I ain't gotta prove nothing I'm just here I don't gotta be here I never had to even be on YouTube from the beginning. I just am on here because I feel like I have a reason to be here. I mean, I've been doing this. I've been doing YouTube videos for over 10 years. Uh, it's my choice. I, I you know, I, uh, I'm doing it because I'm, you know, I'm allowing myself to. I don't, there's nothing that I have to talk about. I could do whatever I want on YouTube. As long as it's not breaking their company rules or policy, I can do whatever I want to do. As long as it's legal and it's uh, uh, YouTube allows it, I could do anything. So, I, like I said, I don't have to prove anything to anybody. So. I don't have to talk about anything either. You know, I could do whatever I want to do. It's a free world. We got freedom of free, free, free will. Also, uh, 
it's in our bills of bills of rights, the Constitution. You know, uh, I I do have a shotgun video coming up. Um, I have uh, some of the uh, items I'm going to feature when I when I'm in the kitchen is going to be. I'm I'm going to share that with you here. It's uh, going to be a uh, great combination of grape, red grapes, wine, red wine, red grapes, and Swiss cheese. And then I'm going to have also, I'm going to make a quesadilla for you guys, for you folks. I'm going to do a, make a pork chop for y'all. I'm going to do a BLT for y'all. I'm going to do lobster bisque for y'all. And then I'm going to do prime rib. Prime rib. Yeehaw. That's what I'm talking about. Prime rib. A lot of people think I'm not excited or I have no emotion in my videos. I'm not enthusiastic. I've just never been an enthusiastic person. kind of melancholy, a little drab, <clears throat> you know, <sighs> you know, I'm a little bit dull and sort of sad, but I try to, I try hard to keep you guys entertained, you know, uh, thank me later, you know, for, for all this good quality footage and videos and entertainment of course this is just Killian's I actually worked with a guy who's related to the founder the owner his last name was Killian I worked with him 21 years ago Vietnam vet his name was Hank cool guy you know he, he told me I was thin skin I let things people bullied me at the job and guys there was like they were gonna break my neck and back you know and they were threatening me and calling me chicken shit and whatever but I, mean, I tried to ignore it but got in almost two fights with guys there but been in about four fights in my life I haven't really been in that many fights but let's just say I had never lost a fight last guy I got into it with uh, ended up in a headlock and he's like oh let me go let me go I wouldn't let him go I was like 20, I was 19 or 20 years old back then. It's been a while. I've sparred and I've done martial arts, but I've never really been in a life or death situation where I had to fight. Well, I came close to it before, but I've met people in my life that actually have been in life and death situations where they had to fight, and I've met, worked with a few guys that have actually murdered people, but it's crazy, but I don't, I don't I'm a peace I'm a peacemaker, not a troublemaker. I'm, I'm not for violence. I don't like violence, you know, but I like to watch action. You know, I like karate movies, but that's about it. You know, I like old school wrestling, like uh, George Animal Steel. I like Andre the Giant's Hulk Hogan's cool, Macho Man's cool. I like WWE. The old I like old school WWF. I grew up on it. Sometimes the less you care about stuff, you know, some people are caught up in things. Oh, I want to win the lottery. Oh, I want a big house. I want to win the lottery. You know what I notice? I want to get married. I want to meet the, I want to meet the lady of my life. And the more you wish that for things and worry about stuff, things don't happen. When you least expect things, that's what happens. You know, that's one thing I learned in life. When you least expect it, that's what happens. You know, when stuff happens is when you least expect it. True shit words of wisdom the more you get caught up in shit shit don't go your way the more you th drive yourself nuts and crazy and worry about shit you don't get nowhere you know? hoping you know wishing for things isn't going to solve the answer or the puzzle it's you got to do something about it take action you know action speak louder than words you got to make an effort you know I mean I got to I, uh, I got, I'm trying to get a job now, you know. I'm going to keep my job if I get one. But I'm I'm ready to go back to work. I was, I'm really fucking ready to go back to work. I fucking really am. I need to get on my feet, make it, get a job, and get my own fucking place, man. It's getting it's getting old, you know. i gotta I got to do something soon, you know. I can't be in this 
mess in this mess I'm in. You know, I got to get out of this. I got to do something with my life. You know, be productive and do something about it. Um, ain't nobody gonna do it for me, so I, I gotta step it up. Real talk, real talk. I'll see you guys later. Shout out, um, thumbs up to my fans, uh, especially the Devil and Ryan M. Shout out to you, Ryan M. You're awesome, and the Devil's awesome, and guys are awesome, man. You're smart people. You know what's up. You, I like you guys because you know what's up. Well, everybody else has it wrong. And, Everybody else is dead wrong in how they think, but you guys are sharp. You guys, you guys know what's up. Uh, word to you guys. Uh, hats off to you guys. Uh, Ryan M and the Devil, man. You guys, you guys got it going on. You guys, you guys ain't stupid. I mean, you guys, you guys know the truth. So you're pretty spot on when it comes to my life, which is pretty admirable and it's pretty uh, impressive. But thanks, guys, for uh, watching. Uh, I'll, see, I'll be back probably tomorrow with something better. Every each time I, it's gonna get better. Each video I do is gonna get a little bit better. You know, like age with fine wine. You know, the longer you age wine, the better it gets with age. And that's how my videos are gonna be.